In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to increase your pass rush by a lot, okay? You wanna get more sacks without having to blitz, man, I'm gonna show you my own technique. No one else probably used, well, I don't know if they do. I would imagine if they're smart enough to figure this out, they would, but I'm gonna show you my own technique and the setups behind them to increase the pass rush in Madden 20. Now, if your D-line is full of bums, then, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Now, I'm using the 49ers. I want to say I picked the 49ers. I know nothing about their defensive line, so we can walk through this together and figure it out ourselves, okay? Now, before we get into this, man, for this video and my technique that I'm about to show you, you got to hit the like button. We need at least 2.6 million likes. I was able to go 16 wins in Weekend League. I couldn't finish Weekend League, bro. I had like three disconnects. Uh, and we still had a few games left, bro. I could have probably hit like 20 wins easily, but I just didn't have the time. I got a lab Madden, plus I do other things that's not Madden. It's just, you know, if I was a streamer, obviously, bro, I could do weekend league. I could probably do two accounts. You know what I'm saying? I could probably do my account and someone else's account. Uh, but either or, make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Once the patch drops, things are going to change. Plays are going to change. The effectiveness of certain plays are going to get weaker, and then some are going to get stronger. Some cover three beaters, some cover four, some cover two beaters aren't going to work as good no more. Then new ones will pop up. So it's good that you stay notified with all the recent content. Also become a member of the Wolfpack, bro. Link is in the description. I appreciate all the love and support. What I think I'm going to do on that side is actually start a series and try to invite some pro players to share their tips and strategies for members only on my channel. What do you guys think of that? All right. So here we go, man. Let me let me make sure, bro, I'm, I'm on the 49er side. You know what? Uh, let me pick a play real quick because I switched controllers. Okay, yeah. All right, because I, I got to use the right controller on, on the 49er side. All right, so here we are. So what we're going to do first is in your depth chart or your team, the team that you use, identify in the big nickel. Like We're just going to use big nickel. Now, you can use nickel normal. You can use dollar. You can do this. You can use this strategy for any of the formations and set, it up, set them up the way you want. All right, so big nickel over G. I'm going to look at my pass rushes. I got Bosa, Thomas, Buckner, Ford. I know nothing about their stats, individual stats, only their overalls. Okay, so depending on how we want to approach the pass rush, we got to figure out the trait that's best to use for the pass rush. Now, there's two different traits that I think are the most important, and that's going to be power moves, and that's going to be finesse moves. Now, what's the difference? Which one's better? Which one works better? If your opponent is running a blocked running back a lot, right, then it's going to be power moves. If your opponent is running just where he's running with his running back around, then finesse moves. Does that make sense to you guys? This is how I'm thinking personally in my mind. But what I do set it up for first is I set it up for finesse moves first. When I come out the gate, I set up my line for finesse moves first. Then, if he's blocking a lot of people, then I'm looking for power moves, okay? Let me let me walk you through this. So right here, we're gonna go into our depth chart. Like I said, I know nothing about the line and their individual stats. We're gonna go for finesse moves. Now, why finesse moves, Wolf? Finesse moves have a better chance of breaking toward the quarterback in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Power moves have a better chance to break to the quarterback when they're being double teamed. So blocked running backs, where they're blocking like six, five people, Power moves is more important. Now, if you're running a 3-4 defense, I'm going to go ahead and say power moves is the only thing that you can focus on with your pass rush. That's just me personally because 3-4, three, it's three down linemen. Don't go with finesse moves because the chances are you will be double teamed in a 3-4 more than not. So go with power moves. Now, what's power moves? People that are new to the, to the, to the, to the channel or new to the game, you go to your depth chart and let's do uh, right ins first, okay? What we're going to focus on is finesse moves. We're going to go to the right ends over here, and then we're going to look at everybody's finesse moves, and we're going to put the highest rated finesse move in that position. So right here, finesse move, 79. So he's our highest. Bosa is the perfect guy for the spot where we have him. Now, some of the, yeah, no, the linebackers are going to have real low. So Bosa is the perfect spot. Now, the next guy, we're going to come back over here. Solomon Thomas. We actually you know what, let's do the left end. Let's just go back from right end to left end. Left end, we have D Ford. He's gonna be our best uh, with the finesse moves. I wanna say, let's make sure because I think that's what I saw. Ford had the best finesse moves. 
Uh, where are we at? We're at Ellie. Yeah, Ford. Okay, let's make sure in the Ellie spot that he has the best finesse move. We're going to come over here. 88. And then, okay, remember Buckner, bros, because Buckner's has a 91. I want to say I did pass Buckner's on there. Okay, so now we're going to come to our DTs and make sure that we have the highest Buckner and Solomon Thomas. Okay, let's make sure Thomas has, he's actually a right in. Thomas, okay, let's look, let's look for Thomas and let's see what his rating is real quick. He is in the right in position, okay. Thomas has a finesse move of, let's check it out, let's check it out, let's check it out. 73, which is okay. That's, I mean, he's the, we have our best finesse move players in the game right now. And that's what you need to focus on. However, if your opponent starts blocking running backs and stuff, then it switches to power moves. And let's, let's just go ahead and show you what I mean. Now, finesse moves. There are certain ways to set up your defense line, defensive line to make it more effective with finesse moves. And if you select power moves as your way to go on the defensive line, there's a different way to set that up. I'm going to show you guys both of them, both, both of the versions that I use. Unblocked running backs, if I see that he's not blocking his running back, let's say I'm coming in big nickel, or I'm going to pick cover three sky. The best setup for this right here is to spread the D-line and crash them down if you're running finesse moves. Why? Why is that? Because we want to encourage the one-on-one -on -one engagements with the offensive line. So I come down to the line, okay, and then I'm over here and I'm trying to encourage the one-on-ones. I don't know why that guy actually came in. Now, this is going to increase your pass rush, especially... Us, and I'm telling you guys right now, in practice mode, it's a little bit different because there's really no fatigue. You guys watch my Madden 19 videos. You remember how I always tell you, hey, Aaron Donald comes alive in the second half. He always comes alive. And you'll just start in my gameplays. You're going to see Aaron Donald just get sack after sack after sack. In Madden 19, not in Madden 20. He's OP in 20. But in 19, I was like, watch, Aaron Donald's going to take over because I was setting up my defensive line to be effective that way. So finesse move, spread D-line. And with the big nickel, you really don't need to crash them down. You can leave the play out the way it is, okay? Just spread the D-line for finesse moves if that's how your defensive line is set up with the highest finesse moves. You'll see these guys breaking their one-on-one -on -one tackles a lot better. Now, when you do do that and you spread them, you need to come down here with the user and you need to encourage a guy to stop and watch you and respect you. You see how 78 respects me? This guy comes off the block because he's in a one-on-one -on -one situation with finesse moves. Let me show you what I mean real quick in the instant replay because what I'm sharing with you guys, this is, this is critical. Set your D-line up for finesse moves. Now look at my user. Look what I do with this guy right here. I'm encouraging one-on-one -on -one gameplay with the rest of these guys. You see? Now it's too late. This guy already came off the block. The guy with the finesse moves comes off the block, okay? So spreading the D-line, right? Spreading the D-line. Let me just do this again. Spread the D-line and play the middle encourages me, encourages one-on-ones. Now finesse moves takes over. People come off there. I'm <laughs> Bro, who's going to show this to you guys? Who else is going to teach this to you guys? Huh? Who's going to teach this to you guys? Come on, bro. Money play master. Spread the D-line, okay? Leave the play out the way that it is in the big nickel. We're going to stand in the middle, encourage the one-on-one -on -one plays by taking this guy's attention to jump into our users. Now we got two people coming off the block straight for the quarterback. Now, things start to change when they block their running back, okay? And we try to implement the same scenario. Boom. Now you're going to get multiple two-on-twos. Pass rush is not as effective, is not as quick. So how do we counter that? What you can do is you can alternate between pass rush. You can set up a nickel normal for power moves. You can set up a big nickel for finesse moves. You guys, you guys get what I'm saying now, right? You guys are starting to see stuff, okay? So remember, finesse moves. Have your whole line set up with finesse moves, the highest rate that you can get. All your D-line, okay? Spread the D-line. Encourage the one-on-one -on -one gameplay with these guys, okay? Someone's gonna break off their tackle and come from the quarterback. And when this fatigue sets in and the offensive line is tired, these guys are gonna start taking over, bro, okay? Trust me, bro. I'm increasing your guys' <laughs> chances. Now let's go ahead and we'll do the nickel normal and we'll set it up for power moves, okay? So blocked running backs, if your opponent's running, you can switch to the nickel normal or just go back and forth, however you wanna do it. Now what we wanna do, we wanna look at these guys, right? Pretty much the same guys, right? But we wanna set this line up for power moves. So we're going to come back. We're going to start the right in. We're going to go to our depth chart. 
This is why you learn your depth chart in your mind, bros, okay? Trust me. All right, this is how you win a lot of games without trying. So we're going to come over here to power moves. Power moves. When you want to use power moves, they're blocking their running back a lot. You use power moves or if you're running a 3-4 defense. Okay, so finesse moves. This guy's got a power move 82, so D Ford's still good. So he's still good in that position. In our right-hand spot, we have... We just got to make sure that everybody with power moves is where they need to be. Now, this team is pretty good because I want to say that on... What team was I labbing before this? Man, I can't remember, but the, they were all over the place, bro. There was like someone had high power moves, someone had low, and it was just crazy. Okay, so right here, Bosa has really good finesse move, but his power move is kind of weak. Blair, on the other hand, has a 76 power move. So we're going to go ahead and put him... We're going to put Blair in for Bosa, okay? So we're going to come back over here to the nickel normal. We're going to put Blair in for Bosa. So we're going to come over here. Where are we at? Blair. Just like that, okay? Put Blair in. Now we're going to look at our DTs, and then we'll look at this guy over here. Left in. Let's do left ins now. Who do we got in that spot right there? It was 55. Didn't even pay attention. But let's let's look at that, okay? Let's, let's look at it. Uh, number 55 is Ford. Let's check his real quick. Let's check his power moves. His finesse moves good, but his power moves is the one we got to look at. So power moves, he's at an 82. I want to say he's the best. Yeah, so he's best all around. D Ford is, I mean, all around player. That's what we want on the D line. Then we're going to come over here to nickel normal. Now we're going to identify our DTs again. Thomas and Buckner. Okay, we just got to look at this. A DT and a right in. Come over here. Go to our depth chart. Let's go to our DT. Okay. Walking you guys through this guy through this stuff, bro. So you so you'll have a better better pass rush. This is what I'm doing for you guys. All right. So over here, power moves right here. Uh, Armstead actually has a better power move rating, but his finesse move is 91. I don't think it's. I don't think we should put that guy there. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he would be the best bet uh, to put him in this position, even though he's an 82 and this guy's an 81, because the the, the difference of finesse is too high. And if you do get a one on one. I think that would be an important factor. Now, if it was like a seven to eight or even five point difference, then yeah, I would change him. But right now, no. So we're not gonna do that. I think we just switched out one guy, which is important. One guy makes a whole difference, bro. Now, if they start blocking their running back, this is how you're gonna set it up. Check this out, follow my lead, okay? If they start blocking their running back, you no longer spread the D-line. What you're gonna do is, okay, you're gonna pinch the D-line. Okay, just like that. And then you're going to crash them all down. So you see the play on the defensive line. You got one guy going to the right. No, you crash them all down. Pinch, crash them down, come stand in the middle in between these two guys, just like this. Ball to snap, boom. Now you got two, two on twos, but these guys with the power moves can actually break that a little bit quicker than most people. At the same time, your chances of fumbles increase if you pinch. You're not going to believe me when I tell you this. Your chances of getting fumbles from the quarterback increase if you pinch the D-line and crash them down. I used to teach this to people back in Madden 19. This is how you increase your pass rush effectively, okay? Pinch the D-line for power moves, boom, crash them down, just like that. Why do you do that? Look, you see the fumbles. You see what I'm saying? Now we're getting, we're getting fumbles because of the way we're setting it up. Before, with finesse moves and the way we set up our D-line, we're getting sacks. Now we're getting fumbles. So make sure you understand that. Pinch, crash down if you're if they're blocking their running back and you got power moves set up on the nickel, okay? Power moves are set up on the nickel. Boom, boom. These guys can actually fight through double teams a lot better with power moves than they can with finesse moves. If that makes any sense. Uh, I'm just trying to help you guys. Pinch, crash down if they're blocking their running back. That simple, dudes. I'm telling you guys how to effectively. Look at the fumbles now, bro. You see what I'm saying? Look at the fumbles now. Let's do it. Let's do it one more time. So you guys see, and then and, and, and I just gave you the holy grail to my pass rush, man. You guys better hit that like button, bro. This is the holy grail to my pass rush. Okay. People coming off the lines. I mean, now it may not seem like a lot to you guys. Like, oh man, that's, that's just normal pass. It's, it's really not normal pass rush. This is advanced stuff right here, man. All right. This is going to increase your, your pass rush game dramatically if you just focus man all right so when your ultimate team look for your power moves and your finesse moves man 
if you're gonna pick up a D-line, if you're gonna start and you're like budgeting, I would I would suggest you guys go finesse moves first, then go power moves. Hope you guys like the video, man. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Love you guys. Peace.